Oh. Now, see, I'm gonna, I want to do the same thing over here, but these ones are in the way. So I'm going to move those down so they're out of the way. There we go. Now I've got surfaces with my intersections on there. Um, and But what I'm going to need, there's no curve around the edge, and that's what I'm going to need for the laser cutter to cut. Uh, so I'm going to select all those again, and I'm going to go to Curve, and I'm going to do Curve from Object, Duplicate Border. So now you can see that um, there's lines around there, and so there's a curve on the edge of that surface that I can um, use for the laser cutter. So <coughs> now the, we don't um, really need the surfaces, so I can delete those if I want. Um, all right, so now I have uh, a bunch of curves, an, a perimeter curve and intersection curves. Um, so now I can go about setting, li laying those out. So first thing I'm going to need to do is lay them flat. So I'll select one group and rotate. Um, and I'm going to put my endpoint, snap to that endpoint, snap to the other endpoint, and turn ortho on. And uh, there we go. So so now I have two stacks of um, of those layouts. So what I need, what I'm going to need to do, is um, move them over so they're not on top of each other. And oops, but what I want to do is I want to do them in order. So I'm going to just work my way up from the bottom and I'll just slide them over first and then I can bring them down. Now you could also do it without the ortho one um, and do this all at once which maybe would be faster. Um, I like doing it with the ortho because it then I know I'm only doing it, moving it in one dimension at a time, but um, it's probably a little faster to do it uh, the other way. So now we've got um, both our X and Y flat. What we want to do is then go in and mark our midpoints. Um, so I'm going to do line segment. I'm going to turn off everything but the midpoint and intersection. So it'll only snap to that. And I will choose a midpoint, the intersection, hit the space um, to give me that command again. And I'm going to do this a bazillion times. All right, so now I have um, drawn a line at the midpoint of all of those things. So by clicking um, and dragging from left to right, oops, I have to hold down the shift, I can select all those lines, except for that one that I missed. Um, that one. And then type in trim. And I can, let's see. Let's do these on the top. So hit return. I'm done. So that gives me one way and now I just need to so I did them on the flat side there so now I need to do the opposite on on these oops so I'm gonna select those midpoint lines again 
and trim and then select the ones I want to trim and I'm going to trim the bottom ones Oop, I want to go from right to left left to right All right, return, and unfortunately, the Mac Rhino doesn't have text, so we can't um, do things the easy way. So I'm going to do a series of marks that um, will, you know, numbers, hash marks. <coughs> but here's where the layers um, will come in handy. Uh, right now, everything is on this null layer. Um, so, just for the sake of it, I'm going to put all these on the cut layer because those are going to be cut. To do that, I hit this button up here, which is the Objects Property button. And this will tell me all about the objects. Um, you can name them. It tells you the layer, what color, all these other um, options. Right now, all we're interested in is the layer cut, and we want to make sure that the, the um, color is by layer. So I've moved these things to the cut layer. So if I click in here, they're blue. So they're ready to be cut on the laser cutter. Um, and so the I want to score the markings in here, and so instead of having to move everything to layers, I'm going to um, just work on the um, score layer. So if I hit that little button there, um, <coughs> I'm on the I'm working on the score layer. Anything I draw will be on that layer. So I'm going to go in and do a polyline turn my ortho on um, and here I can just hit the space bar I'll make a little pattern that will tell me what number the piece is all right, so now we'll go in and we'll we'll do the same over here. Hit the space bar again, um, but this time I'm going to orient the um, things in the opposite direction so I can tell them apart. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open um, my laser cutter template that I downloaded. Um, it's a Rhino 3D. Um, laser cutter. I'm going to double check that my dimensions or my units are still right, that I'm in inches on both of those. Um, my grid is set up the way I want it. And um, so that's fine. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select my the stuff I need. And now my computer is going really slow. And I'm going to copy it and paste it into my laser template. Um, all right. And these aren't really laid out very well, so I'm going to adjust that. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I can go in and I can laser cut that now. and. Um, we're all set. So hopefully this has uh, helped. All right. See you on Wednesday.